the best practices for playing the guitar standing up is the one that does not hurt you. So we want to avoid any kind of injury. We want to avoid over excess back bend in the fretting hand. We want to avoid anything like this. Um, and as long as the hand is in a place that allows us to play the kind of stuff we want to play. So if I'm playing, you know, some chords. Right, okay, I can play some chords like that. I want to play some lead. Right, doing the bend style. If I'm doing something a bit more stretchy, three note per string pentatonics. That's a little tough even in this position. You know, for something like that, I may even want to consider if I'm really repping something like that, I might want to consider like how much can I actually uh, make the neck very vertical so that's a little bit easier to get into. Oh, let's see, if I'm doing F, I'm doing a different key now, but that's like uh, C, do C major pentatonic. Right, you see, tough, tough to really get into, but it's also asking a lot anyway. If I raise the hand up, I do feel right here, just by raising the guitar like that, I do feel release and tension from having a stretch this wide. So if you're not into stretching and you're playing, you know, mainly open chords and all that, you can have the guitar much, much lower. But the more stretching you want to be able to, you want to play a G chord like this kind of thing, and you know, you want to be able to do that kind of stuff, um, you're gonna need uh, more elevation to the neck and just more room to get the hand around and get the most sort of comfortable version of the uh, slight gentle curve to the wrist. If the neck is too low, but we try to do that stuff, you see what happens is the wrist has to have this like 90, 90 degree angle bend. That's, that's quite painful uh, to play like that. That's why when we play with the guitar or sitting down with the guitar on the right side, that's why it's very difficult. The neck is very flat and level. It's very difficult to get the hand out in front like that and stay in front. You know, through my many years of teaching, uh, so many times when I would show beginner students, oh, we get our hand in front, oh, that's really uncomfortable, you know? But I would be sitting more with a footstool in front of me, I'd have the guitar uh, on the left leg, I'd have it elevated, it would look basically like this. And that would then allow the positioning to look so natural, right? So when we play with a guitar strap, we are actually doing that. We're putting the guitar in the middle of us and we're getting more of this natural style positioning. Now the greatest challenge here um, from going from sitting down playing to standing is it's hard to see what we're doing. So the most easiest recommendation and the, and the one that yields the greatest result, just play standing up, get used to it, learn to find your notes. Like learn to find what strings you're on. Just spend time only playing standing up. As a matter of fact, if it's that much of a problem, don't allow yourself to play sitting down anymore. Just go that extreme. And when we do that, then we're forced to put ourselves in a situation where I'm playing. I can find my notes, you know. I can find the strings I'm on. Right, where I'm going. Right, we want to be able to find the strings we're on. Okay, great. That's how we do it. Right, so you take the time to put yourself in that environment, you set yourself up in that environment, and then you start identifying what specific challenges with the specific things you're playing are you encountering. And then you only work on them standing up because working on them sitting down is a little different. We might have a better vantage point, we might have, but we also, you might want to start playing standing up because you might be encountering pain from years of bad habits and bad ergonomics as a player. So this is a good time to sort of free yourself, like especially if you're having neck tension and neck soreness from looking down all the time. This is a good time to just glance down and let the left hand do its thing where you try to find where you are, both uh, vertically on the guitar, meaning which string you're on, and also position-wise, but you know, like I said, you can glance down and you see the dots there and all that. Right, but knowing 
the string you're on. Right? Just doing that kind of thing allows you to feel like playing standing up is not harder than playing sitting down. Might be a little different, but after a while it doesn't even feel like there is a difference. That's my personal experience with it anyway. So if you'd like more of my help, please feel free to send me a message. I'd love to help you out. Thank you. Have a good one.